What in the world? I don't know why or how you were doing this. If you are doing this, but I need you to help me, Sam. I need to know what is going on. I need the crew. I got shut off again. The power is back, but the hatch to Universal is still offline. I need you to find out what the problem is. Sam, give me a systems diagnostic. This lady. She can't go home without me, but every time she turns me on, I start doing crazy things. UN1. Module UN1 is pressurized. Pressure's good then. What else? Power in module UN1 is online. At least the EFR seems to be doing the trick. Module UN1 hull contact points to EAS3 are unresponsive. This sounds bad. So the power is fine, but the hull connection points are misaligned. That we can fix. I can't get them open from here, but you should be able to reclamp the contact points from outside. Looks like you're going on your first spacewalk, Sam. Mm. Before you go outside, though, we need to update your Sphere firmware to allow for exterior use. To upgrade, you'll have to scan the barcodes in EAS-11. Once you're fully updated, we'll get you outside. I'm granting you EVA permission now. The internal airlock hatch is now open. Okay, sounds like we got our work cut out for us. EAS-11, Scan Sphere HVZ Codes. It's a little bit strange, huh? The relationship between AIs and humans here. There are some things that Dr. Fisher can't do without me, but there's also things that I can't do without her. I guess it's all part of the checks and balances to make sure that nobody gets locked outside an airlock. <laughs> okay, we are currently in EAS-9. Have we already looked at that laptop? Yes. Let's try our best not to bump into things here. EAS-11 is right next to us. Yeah, so we'll just put a waypoint here. What are all these stickers? Are they just kind of for fun? There's so many of them everywhere. Oh. Look at these suits. Oh, what flag is that? US, EU, something? Kind of hard for me to navigate this thing, so I'm not gonna... <laughs> Sphere Upgrade Procedure To allow for maximum mobility and protection from the vacuum of space, there are a minimum of three Sphere Upgrades for additional abilities helpful in carrying out the relevant work. Prior to Extravehicular Activity, EVA, Scanning the appropriate upgrades with a sphere in EAS-11 will allow new firmware to be applied, enabling these features. Using a terminal or placing a request on SAM, users may combine the script compiler with all feature scripts to apply. Once applied, these features remain permanent and require a full reboot to remove. Okay, so it is removable. Uh, is she giving me all three upgrades? Back to the whole point with checks and balances, she really shouldn't be giving me more permission than what I need, huh? I don't know if I need all three, though. This laptop's off. EAS airlock controls. Emergency evac procedure. Wait, so we got the procedure document, but where are the codes that we actually scan? Maybe I have to find them with a another camera. There's so many things going on here. Sphere upgrade required. Oh, so that's what we control after we get the upgrade. But the actual upgrade itself would be... 
elsewhere. Oh, what's that? We'll have to take a look at that later. But for now... The actual barcodes... Yeah, because you see a procedure document right here. Oh, it's the... right there, right? Yeah, okay, I got you. What was I looking at the ground just now, though? The packages. Here. ACY, insert pantry. Some kind of package? Okay. Uh, the procedure document was here. Right here. Oh. I guess I'm free to scan whatever I want. Upgrade A. That provides Sam with the sphere upgrade external 1RLK.bin script. <laughs> Must be combined with an appropriate compiler in the SamOS mainframe. Sure. B? Do I have to remember these patterns? Maybe. Sphere script compiler HVC that provides Sam with a sphere compile.bat program, which allows compilation and running of compatible scripts. Data combination now available. Combine files in the memory core. Okay. Memory core. Mm. This is how much stuff we've recovered. Okay. Corrupted data. Combine. Or... Oh, I guess I gotta find the scripts first, here. Yeah. This is what we got. Connect nodes. How do I connect the nodes? Okay. I'm trying to connect the nodes right now, but I'm not sure how this works. Hold on. We don't have that much data right now anyway, so it really shouldn't be... What am I not understanding here? It's this one. I need to do this one, right? Glaring at me. Combine. Corrupted data. Data combination. Fragments. Three fragments remaining. Okay. We would want the B script. The A script. And the compiler. That's you all set up. Okay, get those module clamps fixed, Sam. Sphere firmware flash log. That's kind of like when you upgrade the BIOS on your motherboard, except this one's for the space station. Okay, cool. Now that we got that... Ooh, I can boost. Ah. And that's what's gonna let me navigate outside. EAS air lock controls. Pressure controls disabled, airlock not sealed. The internal hatch is open. I want to open the external hatch. No, but I would have to close the internal one first, don't I? Yeah? No? Now there's no air. The control panel where you can rearrange the clamps is on the outer hull of EAS-3. Outer hull of EAS-3. We should maybe check out a US-12 while we're out here. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Why don't we... Oh, we don't have a map. <gasps> then how am I gonna find EAS-12? <laughs> I'm not that good with maps, man. Oh, wow. Saturn. You know how the mysterious 
weird plaque thing that was forcing me to input commands, how it was hexagonal. Apparently, that might be a reference to something on Saturn itself. There is apparently a hexagonal cloud on Saturn's North Pole. Straight down, Sam. The controls are at the bottom of the EAS arm. Okay, you gotta guide me, because I don't know where I'm going. Getting closer. Look for the controls on EAS-3. EAS-3. Do you want to go to 12, though? This is 2. If I had a map, this would be easier. <laughs> but we don't. Let's not forget, I also have boost. That's the whole reason why we got the upgrade to begin with. But I'm not really using it right now, because I think if we go a little bit too fast, it'll be hard for us to see what's going on. Okay, she told me to go down, but like, which way even is down? <laughs> I don't even understand our orientation right now. I guess we'll have to rely on looking on the labels on the outside of these containers. Like, which way is up? Which way is up? Which way is down? That's not... Hmm. Oh, that's a CN arm. We saw that on the feed earlier. It's broken, isn't it? Please repeat your previous request. Sam, get those clamps disengaged. I'll be watching your feed. Kinda scary to think about how she's watching me do whatever I'm doing right now, too. Do we want to check that out? We want to disengage the clamp. I probably should have listened to her more closely back when she was saying, Oh, you're getting closer. <laughs> oh god. I'm definitely lost here. But at the minimum, I can try to check out this broken piece here. Is that EAS-12 then? That's the piece that got disengaged, right? Sam, it's still there. We can check it out. Yes. This is EAS-12. What about that black goopy stuff we saw before? Is it just in that storage area that's still on our station right now? Kind of a scary thought too, because what if it's weird alien technology? I need to keep an eye open for data. Emma, I'm in my suit. I don't know what is happening. I was trying to unlock the door after the lockdown and the module started shaking and then... Sam jettisoned the module. How did Sam jettison the fucking module, Em? He shouldn't be able to do that. I'm going to try and work my way around the station exterior. Ah, shit. Oh no. Was he actually still here before... When was this? Before I jettisoned the module. Yeah, again, back to the whole checks and balances thing. I don't have permission to do that, because that endangers the humans, but somehow that virus thingy made it so that I could. Mm. It's too quiet in space. This is a different type of fear than we normally feel, isn't it? It's fear of the unknown. We just don't know what's out here. There's not a way for us to comprehend what's happening. That's really what's scary, because we don't even know what we're looking at. What are we dealing with? 
Mm, there's got to be more here. I can't tell her anything about EAS-12. Well, I couldn't really get inside, could I? What is that? Is that just the feed going haywire again? Can I squeeze in? Is it a bit of a tight squeeze? I think so. I feel like there's gotta be something because Emma made it a point to talk about it. Maybe we have to look at the debris a little bit more? That's literally a piece of plastic. Well, we got the laptop. The audio link. Maybe that's the main thing that we came here for. Which proves that Josh was here. That's a pretty big thing. Yeah, it's just... It's just metal here. I keep crashing into things. It's making the module go haywire. But wait, though. That... Oh, here we go. Here we go. The audio log. Uh, I don't see Josh anywhere. We're inside, but I don't see anything particularly... Oh gosh, space is so confusing. Yeah, I thought we had something new here. We did manage to squeeze in, but yeah, I think the main thing must have been the audio log then. Hmm. Even if we don't find it, I guess narratively it sort of makes sense because it's freaking space. You're literally looking for a piece of like, what? You're looking for a piece of rubble in space. How are you supposed to find it? It's hard. Hey, that's new. Again? Uh, that's the one that we looked at earlier, right? But it seems like it's off now. Please repeat your previous instruction. Sam, get those clamps disengaged. I'll be watching your feed. There's nothing beyond this. The hash control is completely dead. Because why wouldn't it be? I wish I could tell Emma about what I found here, but... Yeah. I think that might be a bug, because we just looked at this, right? Okay, let's get out of here then. Now I have to somehow orient myself. Can I pull away a little bit? I just want to see what the station looks like. EAS-12 snapped in half. Hmm. And here, we got something blinking, which is usually a pretty good sign that we should look at it, right? What is this? We have a number here. This is EAS-11. EAS-11. Where we came out of. That's right. That's EAS-9. I feel like I gotta stick to an orientation because this is just nuts. I keep turning and twisting, so I don't really know where I'm going. Yes, we're looking for EAS-3 here. We have EAS-2. I wish they would just give me the map of the inner section, because I know right now they're not giving it to me because we're outside, but even having the inner one would help. gotta be around here somewhere.
They gotta label things more clearly, man. <laughs> yeah, see this, uh, this station here? It's a reference to the hexagonal shape again. Is it on purpose? Maybe not? But it is the same shape. What's this? Nothing, apparently. Okay, let me go find EAS-3. Here we go, EAS-3. So EAS-9 was all the way at the very top, and EAS-3 is at the very bottom. In the end, I found that I had to reference a map that I saw previously to really find where this is, and here we go. Hull contact errors on 248. What do I do? Clamp not engaged. What can I do about it? Start clamp reset? Actuate servo. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I was still holding down S, so it didn't work. Oh. Oh, I gotta keep holding it down. Mm. These mini games are pretty dang intense. I get why. It's because I want to mimic that experience here. Clamp closed. Hull contact true. Okay. Now we gotta do the same thing for two and four. Holding the clamp open, actuate servo. Oh, it took too long again. This is hard work. I feel like I have a newfound appreciation for AIs and computers. <laughs> Here we go. Same deal. That's it. The whole connection points are reading true. I think that's working. Yeah, it's working. It's gonna take a few minutes while the module connection runs its pressure checks. Sam, while you're out there, take a closer look at the damage you detected earlier on the station exterior. What can you see? Can you remind me where they were? I did see it when I was walking around, but... Yeah, there was the spot on the CN arm and the RU-07, if I remember right. It's just that the problem is, can I find those things? Oh, look at that. That looks pretty dang broken to me. The solar panels. The solar arrays are showing evidence of torsion and stress. Whatever this station has gone through, the arrays had no chance. Take a closer look at the China and Russian arms. The damage to the top of them looked pretty severe. Hmm. Oh, yes. Earlier, when I was looking at the map, I discovered the side here. So by default, we're looking at the European and American Space Agency arm, but I can switch it to... Universal Shared Structural Ring and Salute 10 Russian Space Agency Arm and Shenzhou 12 Chinese Space Agency Arm. So it's like the shape of the space station. The ring itself is shared, but the arms belong to individual countries. Again though, would be really helpful if you could point me to where the... I'm sorry, which arm did you say? Could you repeat that? What would you like me to do? Sam, that damage, any ideas? Yes. There's some damage here. Whatever this is, it looks broken. Just some abrasions, I guess? I definitely saw something broken here earlier. Do I gotta get closer? There's some debris.
No, really? Hmm, I definitely saw it. Before I came across EAS-3, I saw it. Look! There's a dent here! It's obviously broken. The Russian arm, RU-07. An unknown material is present at hull fracture points. That looks like what I found in EAS-4. What the hell is it? Maybe I shouldn't be getting too close. Bring the sphere back inside and meet me in EAS-3. Let's get this hatch open. I hope to God the others are okay. Ugh. I thought it was just a burn mark. But no, it's some weird, sticky substance. Okay, now I gotta look for EAS-11. I gotta get back inside. Here we go. Oh, the blinking was to signify that the hatch was open here. Now we gotta um, go to the airlock controls again, don't we? Which would be this way. Yes. Mm hmm. Please close. Repress. And open. Oh, no battery. Emma? The hatch lights are on. Looks like the connection to Universal is holding. Great work, Sam. Now, lift the lock down on the hatch, please. No problem. Hmm, this is the kind where I gotta do the diagram again. Lift the lock would be unlock L3. Left 4, up 4, right 3, down 3. Okay, that's it open. Here we go. Here, let me... Hello? Elsa? May? Stas? Where the hell is everyone? Jim? Scared. No, no, no. Who is that? What? Oh. Your universal camera system's back online now, so keep an eye out for anything while you work. Hmm, this is a bigger overview of the station. Hello? Is someone there? May, it's Emma. Are you 
have no idea how happy I am to hear you. Emma! Oh my god, Emma, I'm stuck in Shenzhou. Where are you? We've just made it to Central. Who is we? Me and Sam. I don't know where anyone else is yet, except... Except Staz. He's dead, Nick. Oh, God. How? It looks like Central depressurized. It's okay now, though. Uh, he's in his suit, but I, I don't think he had O2. What about Jim? Josh? Ailsa? Nothing yet. We had, like, a full power outage. Sam has lost most of his functions, and we're slowly getting him back up to speed. Okay. I'd like to help, but I'm stuck in the Chinese arm. There's something wrong in UN3. It's all locked down. I'll get Sam to look into it right now. Sam, check the station alerts. Make that the priority if you can. 